Welcome to UManage, the only PC-based sheep management software in Canada with full web service with CCIA and ATQ. When you open a system, first of all, it checks different things, i.e. if you have uh, treatments to do an animal, if you have uh, medication that is uh, past due, or you have about 10 different checks that the system does. Then you access the databases. You have three main databases, the flock, the lambs, and the medical, which is your pharmacy. And uh, here is a record for uh, you in the flock database. If you access the lamb database, this is a typical review, um, a typical record, sorry, for, for lamb in the lamb database. Now in the uh, system, first of all, if you click on the farm profile, you have to define your objective or the way you want to manage your farm. So you can access the traceability if you want to do tracking or not through CCIA and define the different premises ID or the lambing profile, i.e. number of days you want to lamb and your breeding activities, your weaning activities, uh, the timers basically that will drive your management calendar in the future. If you are Genovis or CLRC or mill producer, you also have the tabs to uh, define how you want to set up your uh, farm. Then back to the flock, um, this is the area where uh, you have the identification of the animal, uh, the breed tag number, the mother and father, and if you are Genovis, uh, you click on the Genovis number or the headings and uh, it will bring you to the full Genovis uh, record or report. And you can download that through a simple click on the Genovis menu uh, from an Excel file that you will get from your Genovis database. The second area is the manual activity zone for uh, breeding activities, for um, uh, scanning and lambing. But all these activities can be done by group as well if you go into the main menu of the group activities. You can also have a list mode instead of a page by page or animal by animal mode. And you select whatever animals you want to see in there uh, with the find button, i.e. by group, by group of age, by whatever criteria you have on the, on the list there. In the, in the uh, flock, you also have an area for the, uh, the tools that you might use. Uh, you can use uh, stick readers or FID readers to do purchases, disposal, replacement of tags, breeding, scannings, or whatever. Uh, you also have a section to uh, connect the different um, files that you get from the uh, electronic scales. Um, most of the current scales are accepted in the system, the true test, uh, the Gallagher. Um, and also you can uh, have uh, the use of the workabout proke, or also the Zion. You can, you can import all the information from the Zion or export data from uh, you manage. Obviously there is a software that goes with uh, you manage for the Zion. You can also drive a T-Perry drencher wirelessly. And uh, if you don't have money to buy a workabout, you can use different equipment through the mobile PC um, software on iPhone, iPod, and soon on Android. Or you can bring your tablet in barn, connect your RFID reader, and use a um, touchscreen uh, to do the different activities that you see on screen there. So there's no limit on how to use you manage, and everything is included in your annual cost. There's no extra cost for anything. Back to the LAMP file, the, the main um, menus and reports. Uh, again, the tabs here allow you to do disposals, to do Genovis, um, or, or um, register your animals with CRDC, with or without uh, transfers. Um, if you go into the uh, main menu bar, uh, you can have activities on group for weighing or doing forecastings, different forecasting in terms of what you're gonna have. You can use an ID activity and you have different reports, obviously um, on, on the weight, on quality of animals. Um, if you want to, to uh, use graphs as well, um, give you some examples here. This is the graph of the birds for the last 12 months. And you have a graph here, a pie graph for the disposals over the last 12 months. Um, if you sold, for example, to the auction or heavy lambs or late lambs or whatever. In the flock file, um, back to that file for the uh, main uh, menu review, um, you have different list formats that you can use uh, to do activities, purchases, or sales, or, or 
go go to different records uh, you can access the group activity uh, control there um, you can as well activate the NID information and here again you have different reports uh, some of them being quite important like the 12 month farm analysis where you have um, a section on the um, the, the lambing, uh, the prolificity and the productivity, the lambing rate of the, of your flock. There, you have the the um, percentage of that, uh, what you sold in the period with uh, the different gains, and the productivity uh, in terms of age of the youth in your flock. You can save that up to uh, five period to compare. You also have um, a very important, interesting statistical uh, information review here. I've selected a group. Uh, to show you what is the uh, the kilogram wean in the red you have your low producers in the yellow the average of your uh, flock and in the green the best ones uh, you can classify them according to different factors and uh, from the classification uh, that you have here you can also identify the potential ewe lambs or ram lambs as um, potential replacement in your flock so that's done automatically with the system if you like more visuals than uh, numbers, there is um, dashboard type reports. Here, don't look at the different numbers because they're wrong. It's only a test system. And um, you have uh, the same report, for example, for uh, AV lambs. The one I showed you before was for light lambs at the auction. So depending upon what you input in terms of information, you have different reports available. Now, if you go on the lambing side, um, you also have um, on the lambing statistic of a U, um, you would have the lambing statistics per lambing, or you have also, if you click on the performance button here, you have statistics on an annual basis to compare um, ewes that are lambing more than once a year. Obviously, your uh, kilogram wean will be uh, more important than, than those that give birth once a year. You also have a um, genealogy um, graphic for tree generation with uh, the genovis factors if you are genovis the history section is filled automatically by the system but you can input whatever data you want in there and do search in the medical section if i go to the pharmacy um, you have one page per type of medication different um, buttons to give you information in general or here as a pain facial expression that was provided by uh, the calgary people you have free access to the canadian companion of veterinary products if you go there for example here i was in the liquimis in la uh, medication description you have the full uh, spec sheet on the medication you can also access a short form um, information which is called here the um, user in dosage and you will have um, like in a summary like the dose and the withdrawal times and the different uh, important factors now you can also um, um, indicate what you use the medication for here i put for uh, this medication mastitis and pneumonia what it does here is when you're in um, an animal um, record if you have a problem you say here i have mastitis it will tell me that in my pharmacy i'm, I'm I have indicated I can use Lycomycin and Borgal for this type of thing. If I select the medication I want, the system will calculate the dosage and will calculate the uh, withdrawal period and the withdrawal time and uh, will prevent me from selling this animal if the date is not uh, passed due. If you want a reminder in the morning when you open or you turn on your system, it will tell you if you selected yes here and the information gets into the history as well. There is another section in the flock file, which is the disposal to call uh, and identify if the animal is dead, has been sold, or you can also register with or without transfer. There is another tab for the other condition, uh, which is fed by the mobile system or manually here if you go in the tab directly with the uh, color coding in there. On the right hand side for a U uh, record, you have the uh, information, uh, summary information about the lambs that are um, with this U there. Finally, in the flock file, you have a um, calendar for your management activities. When you click on the calendar, there is a reminder of the uh, treatments that you have to do. Uh, you can select if you want to see them or not. And uh, here I have like uh, medication that are expired. And this is the calendar for the different activities. You can have up to 12 group by, by activity. 
and you can print that or put that into a real calendar form where you can uh, print this calendar or add any activity that you want um, to, to pin in your in your barn the system has been in use for the last 10 years and it's been designed totally in Canada here and it's maintained in Canada uh, you manage also handle the milk production um, if I go into the milk uh, side here uh, you have to define the way you want to use it in the uh, farm profile so um, you can input controls either manually or through the mobile tool as I shown before there is a whole slew of um, performance reports here is a statistical analysis uh, more or less like uh, with the uh, on the meat side and you can again classify your your use and identify automatically the ulm that you may want to keep from uh, your best uh, your best animals there in the flock again in the in the report side i'm going to show you another report which is production for number of days for a selection of uh, 46 animals here uh, so I want to select for 90 days. I want to see what is the production. So I have production per day per animal and I have a uh, total production so far for every one of that group here. So these are type of reports we have on the production side on the right hand side is your um, production calendar. When you do lambing, this calendar um, is summarized and goes into the milk production history and it's emptied at that time. You also have a quality section where you can report uh, the fat, the proteins and the different uh, criteria for your milk. And again, you have other reports like graphs and so on, like for the other portion of the system. For those that are more techy, if I go back onto the lamp side, um, again, you can use um, RFID readers on the lamp side to read the different um, um, files that are provided or made by these readers. You can uh, use the um, area for the um, scales as well and read the different uh, information from the scales and you can send information to the more advanced scales like the TSI. But there is also a six door drafter controller um, in the system which is uh, connectable to all these scales there or you can use it uh, manually as well if you don't have an electronic seal. So it can control four doors, three of them are uh, control uh, according to sex, weight, age and you can define animals you want to send them to abattoirs or to auction or whatever with the maximum quantity and the fourth door is used to um, draft the animals that don't meet any of the criteria or for example those that uh, for those that uh, the withdraw period is not issued so it they will go there automatically so here in the manual mode it tells me uh, i've input one data it tells me what door to open and um, on the right hand side you can see that you can synchronize doors like the output door of the of your of your balance um, there the input and the output if you want to synchronize them together uh, you have also delays that you can uh, define for each one of the doors depending how much time you want them to um, be open and you can save your configuration up to um, uh, 10 different uh, configuration so thanks again for listening